An experiment to help answer that question was being conducted by Dr. Robert Vogel, co-chair of the NFL's subcommittee on cardiovascular health. What you eat immediately before an athletic endeavor really can have major impact on how you perform. There's a direct correlation between a meal and endothelial function. The endothelium is the lining of blood vessels. It regulates blood flow throughout the body. It knows that a particular muscle group or organ needs more blood flow, and it dilates, it opens up. When the endothelium is impaired, it cannot open up. It cannot allow blood flow to increase as much, and therefore impairs athletic performance. The test subjects were three football players from the Miami Dolphins. Defensive back Michael Thomas, and wide receivers Griff Whalen and Kenny Stills. For the touchdown, Kenny Stills! Today, we're going to be feeding them three burrito breakfasts with a lot of protein. Two of them have sources of animal-based protein and fat. One is from beef, one is from chicken. Third is a plant-based burrito, which has beans in it. So the protein and the fat came from a plant-based source. Tomorrow, we're going to feed them all bean burritos. We're looking at the impact of eating a different meal on the same people. All right, here's the beef. Thank you. Chicken here. I'm going to have a plant-based one. Thank you. Griff has been plant-based for four years, so he got bean burritos on both days. On away games, we always eat fried chicken. We eat Popeyes. <laughs> I love fried chicken. I love Popeyes. And I'm going to eat Popeyes every time. <laughs> Two hours after each meal, the players had their blood drawn and put into a centrifuge. The red blood cells sink to the bottom. An amber-colored fluid called plasma rises to the top. If the plasma is see-through, it means there's not much fat in the blood and the endothelium is likely functioning well. Michael, today's blood and yesterday's blood. This is a plant burrito. This is a meat burrito. Look at the difference it makes in what circulates in your bloodstream. Cloudy. Cloudy. And that's on top is the fat circulating in your blood from the meat burrito. Gotcha. Griff, you're the vegan. Here's your blood from today and your blood from yesterday. Nice and clear, both of them. So the fat from the avocado doesn't have that kind of effect. That's right. Kenny, you're the fried chicken guy. <laughs> you want to see your chicken? There it is. Yeah, it's pretty gross to see. <laughs> Sources of animal-based protein and fat have a tremendous impact on endothelial function that lasts for six or seven hours after you eat. So if you have bacon and eggs for breakfast or a hamburger for lunch and a steak for dinner, this is going on all day long. Your blood is always cloudy, and the ability to operate at your best is always impaired. Damn. I guess I won't be eating my fried chicken no more. Dr. Vogel's experiment was backed up by numerous studies measuring how a single animal-based meal can impair blood flow. I also found a large body of research showing that plants have the opposite effect, improving endothelial function and increasing blood flow. Controlled studies show that simply drinking beet juice before training allows subjects to cycle 22% longer and bench press 19% more total weight. I've seen races where it has come down to the 1,000th of a second. Sometimes you have to do things that you know your competitors aren't doing, getting every single advantage you can. Knowing I could get enough energy and protein was one thing, but seeing what a single animal-based meal could do to an athlete's blood sealed the deal.